God came from heaven to earth primarily to express His words through the flesh, to complete the work of God's Spirit by means of the flesh, by means of the flesh. Today, people's knowledge of the practical God remains to one sided, remains to one sided, and their understanding of the significance of the incarnation is still too meager. With God's flesh through His work and words People see that God's Spirit includes so much People see that God's Spirit includes so much That He is so Today you can worship this person while in essence You are worshiping the Spirit And that is the very least that people should achieve In their knowledge of God incarnate Through the flesh, you know the Spirit's essence, know the Spirit's divine work and human work in the flesh. Accept all the Spirit's words and utterances in the flesh, and see how God's Spirit directs the flesh and demonstrates His power in the flesh. Today you are able to worship this person While in essence you're worshiping the Spirit And that's the very least that people should achieve In their knowledge of God incarnate this is to say that man comes to know the Spirit in heaven through the flesh. Man comes to know the Spirit in heaven through the flesh. The appearance of the practical God Himself among men has dispelled the vague God in people's notions. People's worship of the practical God Himself Has increased their submission to God And through the Spirit of God's divine work And His human work in the flesh Man receives revelation and is shepherded and changes are achieved In man's life disposition This is the actual meaning Of the Spirit's arrival in the flesh The primary purpose of which is that people May engage with God Rely on God Arrive at knowledge of God